This is Dubai Classics. In this series, we explore some of the city's oldest and finest restaurants, each influenced by the diverse communities that have shaped Dubai's growth. Dubai in the 1980s. His Highness Sheikh Rashid continued his vision of turning Dubai into a global commercial hub. Camel races were still the rage, but we also got our first shopping mall, Al Ghurair Center, the beautiful new Deira Tower, and Emirates Airline. The same decade gave us Woodland, an Indian vegetarian restaurant that has built a cult-like following over its 40-year existence. Their standout dish is a crispy light dosa that comes with a comforting and hearty sambar dip. Eating there has become a tradition in Dubai. You, man. Same here, man. Amazing. I'm so glad we had this conversation. I'm so glad that you brought me to this place, man. This is like, yeah. it's legendary. It is. Well, they're going to celebrate their 43rd birthday this year. Yeah. That is, I mean, it, it's almost uncomprehendable. Correct. Because, you know, when you, when, you, when you say something is old in Dubai, it's probably yeah. that old. Like, this is, this is like going to Turkey and saying, how old is this mosque? It's 600 years old. Yeah. It's 43 years old. Yeah. Super old. It is. Oh my it God. Is. How long have you been coming over here? So yeah. I've lived here all my life. So from my early bits of what I can remember, I've always come. Yeah. So you came with your parents, obviously, yeah. to begin with, yeah, right? Yeah, yes. If you look at the area, Karama is um, predominantly had uh, the huge population of the South Indians. I don't know what the reason was, but somehow we've had the, the, the split between the North Indians and the South Indians. Mm -hmm. And South Indians would be in Kurama, and North Indians would be in Burdubai. Okay. It also could be because the South Indians were the working class, and the North Indians would be the entrepreneurs of business, because so they were the traders, and all yeah, that, gold textile, and all that. gold. And also all the families are here, so yeah. these kind of restaurants opened predominantly to begin with to feed those communities, those families, right? Absolutely. And I can't think of any other restaurant in the area that has been there from at least the 80s that I can remember till today. It's nuts. But what do you think they're getting right? I think what they have right now is people like me that come back from the nostalgia part of it. And somehow or the other, they've gotten the consistency bit right, which I think is the biggest recipe for any restaurant to, to survive. No matter what day of the week, you're not gonna go wrong. I got you. You walk in, you're you get, get exactly the same the people, same. you get the same food, you know what you're expecting. There you go, you don't come here to experiment. You know exactly what you want. Got it. Got and, it. and you walk away with a very small bill. I know they prepared some, some Have they? pizza dosas for us. <laughs> Not a normal dosa, a pizza dosa, and it's flat because usually the dosas are not like this. They're either rolled yeah. or made into like a what do you call them? Like a cone? cone yeah, like a cone. Kind of cone shape. So the cone happens with ghee, so they call it ghee oh. roast. So they basically get it crispier. Oh, look at that! I can tell you that's not part of our history, though. It's not. <laughs> it's new. This is like a, a this new is thing. like the, hey. the fusion stuff. And they gotta innovate as well. So this 100%. is great innovation. Hundred percent. All right, let's try this out very quickly. So I'm assuming they didn't cut it for us. Yeah. So it's in Napoli style. They give you a full pizza, Ooh. and over there they'll give you a, a fork and a knife. But over here, of course, we're just gonna you go use your hands. Yeah. Cut this baby up a little bit. And whatever shape you want it. Oh, that's it. You took a. Oh I took man! A small look, at, bite. look at look at my bite versus Akilesh's bite. I want this this big baby right it. here. Yeah. This is what I want. A large one. Mm. Crispy too. Oh, it's amazing. It's crunchy as well because the vegetables actually don't cook. I'm a geek. There mm. you go. That's a geek. Man. The amount of oil that they put on these things, <laughs> but it's okay. Your heart is you not going to worry for a well, long Well, honestly, ghee, uh, we in India, we consider ghee to be healthy. It's obviously it's, better than... Uh, it's, it's not your regular what's that, oil, no, it's, yeah. it's ghee. Ghee is good. Yeah, it's amazing. They poured it all over. It's actually That's really good. It's just so good. Really good. Right? Yum. These are like the... 
sauces if you want to call it. This is sambar, this is chutney, the onion chutney, this is green chutney, and then coconut um, chutney. Yeah, coconut chutney. So uh, when you have the dosa, these oh, are like that's must, right. of course, of course. must do's with the Oh, dosa. I didn't realize this was actually meant for that, and yeah. I actually gave my, yeah, yeah. my dosa back. Yeah, but you can go for it. Um, you gotta get this right, man. You gotta get this right. So, go for it. So you got nice Italian flavors, likely. Yeah. But then you got that amazing South that Indian sambar. sambar. This is. Did you? Yeah. You got that beautiful sambar. Those little mustard seeds. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. That's nice. How often do you visit now? So the thing with me personally, we've moved out of Karama. It's been a while, right? So this was home before? You yeah, lived in Zara? Yeah, yeah. I, lived in, I lived in the colony for throughout my entire schooling. Mm. So what I, what I do is I actually come back to Karama. I do it at least once every week or two weeks. Mm. Somehow or the other, it kind of reminds me of my childhood, my, my, my parents, that time to be bad. My halla, my, my baba guy, my laundry guy. To Karama. All around here. All Karama. Perfect scenario. You I, get I, everything built around your favorite here. restaurant. I'll come back <laughs> I make sure that I come back to Karama. Amazing. Fantastic. So this is a pancake, if you want to think of it that way. Pancake. It looks like crepe, a bucket. Yeah. Donut. Yeah. Idli. Idli. I don't this know. Idli. <laughs> idli. Let's grab one of these. Let's go for it. Soft. Or rice cake. Yeah, it's soft. Hot. You should also dip it with this one. The coconut oh, chutney. Both, both yeah. together? No, no. Well, you can try both together. Some of them actually, a lot of my friends actually like it together. Do yeah. Do that. Mmm. That was like just pure fluffiness. Mm. And those are steamed, so there's a special way yeah. of making those. And then you got this. I mean, this is just fantastic. Look at it. Look at that sound. Yeah. Look at that sound. Look at that sound. <laughs> that is fried, and it is just beautiful. That is a donut, and this is a savory donut. Savory donut, yeah. I'll leave a half for you. And again, I want it in here. This sauce just goes with everything. Look at that. You gotta get a good amount. Mmm. Inside, it is super soft. I'm gonna take a little bit of a spoon. Look at that. Keep it straight. Try it with this one over here. Yeah, it's a green chutney. Yeah, go for a it. Bit of that as well. Think you like it? It's just so good. Oh man. Oh. This is a, oh. Mm -hmm. I've actually never had, had it before. So oh, it's man. something that I come and have all the time. More wow. than these. It's so like soft and mellow and. And it gives me the impression that it is like a like a couscous yeah, from, from North Africa. Oh, exactly. Right? Exactly. But it is much more like kind of tightly packed together and it's more uh, aerated, I feel. Mm. Very, very fluffy. And of course, this is the dosa. your dosa. And this is a plain dosa. So, so look at that. That's how normally you'll get it round like that. And it is super crispy. You can dip it into anything that you want. So sometimes we have, so they have dosas in at least about 10 or 15 different types. So they've got, this is oh, the plain. Oh, with the potatoes, with Yeah, this is the plain dosa. They've got the masala dosas, which is with the potatoes. You've got the onion uh, dosa. You've got the, you know, the rava dosa. You've got different kinds of dosas. So this is, this looks like a pancake. I mean, it's a pancake. Literally it a is pancake. a pancake. However, this is made with lentils and rice yeah. and things like that, not just with flour. It's brilliant, once again, Dip it into what you like. Dip it into the white this time over here. Mmm. Yum. Yeah. And of course, for me, I love picking this up. Sambar. And I just... So Woodlands, so good. claim to fame is the sambar. I'm my mama right now. I'm be like, with all the sambars you've had in the world, which sambar is your favorite? She'd be like, Woodlands sambar. It's brilliant. I just want to... Mmm. Tell me how this place looked when you first came. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. You know, funnily enough, I think I have to ask him this. From when I was maybe 10 or 11, they've always had a first floor. Yeah, they do have, they're still there. They do parties over there. But they, uh, you know, I've never ever seen it used. <laughs> never seen it used, ever. Oh, oh, oh. What's, what's this thing about the, the, the number? Those two numbers, 203, 204. So these were Sheikh Rashid buildings, you know, back in the day we used to call them Divan buildings. So because they were the buildings, 
mm. built by the ruler. And uh, they would label them. The only way to know, because everything was a Sheikh Rashid building. So they would give them like numbers. Oh. And they would start from 10 or 8 all the way to whatever number. So the, this set was 203, 204. Even after they've changed it, now all the Sheikh Rashid buildings are now Wasal properties. Oh, Wasal properties, yeah. Because, you know, Wasal's yeah. taken them. So just to keep the, the tradition alive, I think what they've done is they've, they've kept the board. Kept the, the they've number. kept the board. 203, 204. The, the, the goodness that is Sheikh Rashid, the late Sheikh Rashid and Saeed Maktoum. Allah Hamma. Runs Allah Hamma until today. This is the closure. It's, uh, it's filter coffee. Amazing, look at the froth look on that. Look at the that. froth. Yeah, you talk about a good cappuccino, but they don't make the froth like this, aerated froth. The tray oh, is for yeah, us yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to sort of do this. Yeah. Woo! And this is so hot, you can't imagine, yeah. but you take the heat. You got a different way of doing it as well. Look at that. I like the, uh, the height. So you constantly pour back and forth, and the reason you do that is one, for the froth, and two, so it cools down. Cools down, yeah. And which one do you drink from? This is a question that I always ask everybody. Or oh. you can drink from any. <laughs> it's your wish. However yeah? you want to do it, yeah. However you want to do it. And by the way, they usually put sugar in there. And hey, what's the premise behind? This is the only place I've seen. See, see how small it is. Yeah. I don't know if you can actually see But hey, this is gold. This Everywhere is gold. else it's silver. Yeah, we're looking in Dublin or do we like gold? Innovation, man. Yeah. Innovation. It, it, you know, it's one thing to like something, but it's another thing to go against everything else know, and be a visionary. Yeah. Woo, that is a, a strong, strong coffee. coffee. And I think they put chicory in there as well, they right? They do, yeah. So you got chicory root in that coffee. It gives it a little bit of that bitterness. A yeah. lot of people have chicory without the coffee because it has no caffeine. Yeah. This one is both fresh milk, so it foams up like this. Oh man, I love this. I, I swear, I absolutely love it. I appreciate it, my man. Yeah. I, oh, I should give you this hand, actually. Sorry. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> it's amazing. This is uh, 20 out of 10. Thank you. <laughs> 20 out of 10. You left some space, right? Because we're gonna have we're gonna have thali. We gotta have a thali. In 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 this place, they don't do thalis. So to those plates or or what? They're set like a set kind of thing. You know, the thalis hmm. are a very North Indian thing. This is a very South Indian, South Indian place. Mm. So the, the places that you go and do a, a full-fledged tali where they give you a little, little... Yeah. That's a very North Indian thing. The square that they have here with the little... Yeah. So that's not a tali, so I shouldn't say I want a tali. Yeah, yeah, So I don't know what, what are you referring to, really. I saw like a tray. Okay. Which had like four things on top. Let's ask the man. Shall we? Mr. Ashok, how are you? Fine, How's everything? First of all, the food is amazing, as always. Thank you. Mr. Ashok, how many years are you here? The same, 40 days. 42. Pure this wedge. tray that you do, yeah. what do you call it? This is tali or not tali? This is uh, four? Yeah, yeah, uh, different, different. Yeah. That one tali. Uh, yeah. You have it? Yeah. We like one of those, okay. please. Okay, okay. we'll okay, try, we try, try it together. Yeah. Woo! There we go. Magic. So this is your typical lunch tali. The rice. Dal, Dal, yogurt, yogurt, sambar, sambar, sweet paisal. That's the dessert. Sweet dessert. 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 Yeah. 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 Then potato curry, mm -hmm. chana masala, beans and dry bhaji, and pumpkin sabji. That's and the rasa. Rasa. For the vegetarians, it's a proper wholesome meal. You've got from the your basics all the way to some flavor, Phenomenal. and then your dessert. This is pumpkin right here. Yeah. I, you know, I heard pumpkin smash, and smash it with a with a spoon of rice. Yeah. That. Mm. Have you ever had this? The papa. Mm. You gotta crush it. You gotta crush it in, in, in within the rice. Oh, yeah, on the rice. Yeah. yeah. Smash it in. Take whatever curry you want. Have it. The Just rice, the papa, and uh, whatever curry. Yeah. Just curry That's right the here. Channel, yeah. yeah. Another one right here. Look at that. Oh, oh you get yeah. that soft and crispy. Yeah. Right there. Go for it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Got a nice little crunch. Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah. This curry is just amazing. Just and so I good. get a little bit of this. Dal. This is the dal, which is just amazing. Dal chaval. Yeah, this is dal. basically what you're having right now is dal chaval, right? Chaval rice. Mm. Typical chaval situation. Phenomenal. Yeah. Just too good. Get a little bit of these greens. That's healthy. The beans. 
so I can, I can share with my doctor. I'm yes, sure I have a <laughs> you had some beans. You got a little bit of potato as well. Look at, look at the color. So they have this with the uh, with the dosa too, right? Mm. So you can have all with the yeah. all with puri. Um, yeah. I don't know if you had puri. Mm. No? Did you? Did you? Mm. Oh yeah, so you have puri uh, as well, which is your breakfast. Mr. Ashok, thank you. Thank you. You know, in Arabic we say Yislam Idik. It means God bless your hand, and God bless the hand of everybody in the kitchen because the food is always amazing, and I can't wait for 100 years. I won't be here, but you will see that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Amazing. Thank yes. you very much. Thank That's you very much. Well. And I'm going to finish that off yeah, with that's a little a bit dessert. of dessert. Yeah, really good one. Oh, Spice man. That's like a warm, yeah. it's warm. sago <laughs> dessert. Oh, man, this is amazing. Thank you so much for bringing me over here. Memories from childhood. Man, Brought pleasure. Back up pleasure. Again, Woodlands pleasure. restaurant. Pleasure. Phenomenal. Every single dish at Woodlands is excellent. Each one of them tells a story of love and dedication passed down through generations. But Woodlands is not just about the food. It's the guy who's been welcoming us from behind the counter for 40 years, the gracious service staff, and a cozy old school space that has barely changed in 40 years. Woodlands is more than just a restaurant. It's a gathering place of comfort right here in the heart of Dubai.